Love Island's back, but it's cold outside. It's literally freezing. My eczema is even flaring up. Yeah, it's the winter version. Oh, great. Now I've got to look good in winter too. Can't a man just hibernate in peace, please? Come on. Just want to eat my snacks. Honestly, I'm done. I'm done. ITV, stop making me look so bad. Man just wants to eat and enjoy winter. Not have to look like it's summer body too. I'm done. I'm done. Yes, hello and welcome back to Gate of Theories. Today we are going to be talking about the new Love Island series, the winter edition that they have just released a candidates video for. So we're going to have a look at that. But before we get into this video, make sure you have clicked that subscribe button if you're new here. We are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So every little helps and you'll make our day awesome. And also, just before we also get into this, we have now released an Instagram page where we've got Currently four or five posts on, I don't know, it'll be five by the time this video comes out. So make sure you go and follow that, there'll be an app there. We put behind the scenes footage, we're gonna put fun facts up there, we're gonna put previews of videos and other short sketches on there. So you're gonna wanna go and follow it, so follow that. And while you're there on Instagram, why not also follow my personal account there? Uh, for some photos, I don't know, I'm just gonna plug it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight on with the video. then I've got my laptop here so let's watch the candidates release video yes they've done their own individual ones but I'm just gonna watch the release video so let's start it yeah, that was like Star Trek back there we're starting like this what a treat this is gonna be can it get any better from here who knows let's see all them whites my name's Shauna my name's Mike I'm Paige I'm Connor Sophie I'm Naz I'm Leanne Eve Ollie Jess Cowan it's Shawnee Spud Have you did anyone catch all their names there I, I feel maybe there was a was there a Jack I don't I don't know I honestly I, I, I don't know why they did it so quickly also I'm guessing those two are twins so why did the cut between them and the names surely just you know, put them at the same time as uh, I, ITV. Come on, give me some answers here, bruv. In the second name Fudge does make me feel really unique. I absolutely don't like Fudge. <laughs> you don't like Fudge? Are you insane? My type on paper <laughs> is probably blonde, athletic. Nice to my mum, because if you don't get on with Tracy, then there's no future. You know what? I'm used to taking the mick out of Love Island and most of these Love Island videos. But, you know what, I've got to say, that deserves some respect. You've got to like someone's mum, otherwise they're not for you. Cristiano Ronaldo did it. This person, who I don't know the name of, but she's wearing pink, says that I've got to, you know what, put some respect. I want you to win this already. Already, you are my new favourite already. So, can you just win this? Um, and it's, it's quite good for Love Island. Let's see where they got her in. <laughs> we'll just skip through all of that. It was just really generic, to be honest with you. Hopefully the twins here can make it a bit better. Like really confident guys. If you were to go to the club, like not the guy standing in the corner, like the guy dancing. I think we do share the same type, definitely. Definitely. Anyone else feeling like one twin is just talking way more than the other one? I think the other one is, is the other one, can the other one speak? She seems very silent. It's like that one twin's like, oh, you've got to help me do Love Island. And she's been like, no. <laughs> and she's going, oh, please, just for me. And she's about. All right, fine, I'll do it. But she looks really, really uncomfortable. Like, that one twin is just talking the entire time and the other one looks really uncomfortable. It's weird to watch. Wouldn't harm a shed of grouse more as well. What? It's like a bit of land, which is like a heather, a load of grouse live on it. It's, it's a big deal. <laughs> what, sorry? Is, is this guy actually smart on Love Island? Have, they, have we now got to be smart as well to be on Love Island? You don't just have to be good looking, you have to be smart as well. Because if so, I have got zero chance of ever applying for that show. Zero. I ain't good looking and I ain't smart, so two for two down there. <laughs> and the girls. Well, if you mug me off, shit's going down. Just going to say it right now, that girl in the pink is my favourite. I wanted to win the show already. She's got a priority straight. you got to like her mum and you can't mug her off. This girl's got a priority straight. So I wanted to win the show, although knowing this is Love Island, I will probably end up hating her and despising her by the end of the very first episode. Um, that's just the way Love Island does this. So ITV, I already hate you for that. Um, but from, from just the initial videos, I want her to win. Although saying that, I really despised Anton last year in this sort of video. And he ended up being my favourite person in Love Island, so, you know, you know what? 
I'm going to I'm going to say I want her to win, but I will probably end up despising her. Thanks a lot, ITV. I love you for that. Basically, Jess needs to get along with my new boyfriend, and I need to get along with Jess's new boyfriend. Yep, the, the twins are out again. One of them just won't shut up and the other one looks really uncomfortable. Like seriously, let the other twin speak. I swear, we just want to hear what she has to say. Because at the minute I know all about you, but not about her. You say the other same, but are you? Are you? Really? 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 Depends which ex you ask. Am I a good boyfriend? <laughs> Am I loyal? You know me when it comes to loyalty. I'm very, very loyal, very loyal. My loyalty's like with Laura. My loyalty's like with you. I've got to go by the loyalty trail. I'm loyal, babe, and I'm real. I've ticked many boxes. I feel like my role in the villa will be an alpha dog. Did he say alpha dog or alpha don? Be an alpha dog. Alpha dog or alpha don? Because if he said alpha don, he's going to be one of these bad boys. Yeah, some sort of mice-like creature. Rat creature? Is he going for the rat look? He must have, surely, surely said Alpha Dog, not Alpha Don. I don't know, I'm going to have to look that one up. I, I really hope he said Alpha Dog, but otherwise he's going to be the rat of the house. You know what I mean? It's not a good look, man. Not a good look already. I know, like, what 100% loyalty is, 100% trust is, because of Jess. Seriously, I am actually praying that she lets her twin speak. I, I mean, honestly, it's been all one-sided. They should have had different interviews. ITV, this is not fair. This is, like, twinist. You put them in the same same one together, not giving them both the a separate amount of time. Did you do that with anyone else? You put them in? No. I know you're having twins on for the first time and you're making a big deal out of it, but at least let the other one speak. I mean, crikey. I'm definitely going to look to sweep someone off their feet. I pledge to change. Get me in that bill off. Let me see the girl. That is just standard Love Island. It would be so ideal if I just met someone, got along with them, and lived a happily ever after. Game on. And that was the end of the candidates video. From that, I can already tell that I will be hooked on watching the entire show. <sighs> I hate myself, honestly, I do. But it looks like Love Island Winter Edition will be kind of successful. I'm not sure how well it'll do compared to the summer one. It's obviously set in a different place and they've already had problems like they haven't have security guards patrolling the house. 24-7 with guns because uh, a gang war is going on nearby. Also, all that Caroline Flack business, don't really want to talk about that. But she's off, so will that be different from the Surma one? Maybe it'll be nice having a different presenter. Um, obviously, we're having Ian Sterling on, so that's going to be mint. Can't wait for that. I am hyped for this Love Island. Uh, I already said I want the girl in the pink to win because she seems to have her priorities from this video. Although, if I look in her other one, um, I may be wrong, and no, Love Island, these videos are utter rubbish. Amber Gill even came out just recently and said her VT was complete nonsense. Um, she was rejected before, and she put that in just to look cool. Uh, but now she's obviously like a millionaire. She can let it all out, let the truth be free. A weight lifted off her shoulders. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with it. It's, it's going to be short. Will it keep us entertained in winter? I don't know. Um, or will it just mean that there's more of this rubbish and it gets less views? It's going to be really interesting to see. So, guys, tell me what you think in the field section or comment section down below for you newbies. If you did enjoy this sort of video, make sure you smash that like button and share it on social media so your friends can see or something. I don't know. You've probably got more friends than me. So uh, if you share it on there, then hopefully someone else will see it. Um, as I said at the start, if you wouldn't mind clicking that subscribe button, that'd be awesome as we make two new videos a week, including everything on the film and TV spectrum. So we do then and now's reviews, sketches, all sorts of good stuff, theories. So you're going to want to click it. There's, I'm sure there'll be something you're going to want to watch in future. So if you click that, that'd be awesome. If you're already awesome and have already subscribed, thank you so much for doing that firstly. Um, but it would be also cool if you click that bell button, then you'll never miss a new video. And as always, we've been here on Gate of Theories. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Abrázame toda la noche y no nos queda mucho tiempo más. No quiero perder lo que queda. Seguimos siempre la pasión y confiamos solo en el amor. Yeah. No quiero perder lo que queda 